Hi, it's been a while since I last filmed, um, a lot has changed. By the way, if you can hear like a chewing kind of sound, the puppy is sitting next to me and she is chewing on a... what you got? What have you got? A buffalo horn. Yeah, it's been a while since I last filmed a video, it's not really, it's been a week. Um, but for me that's a while, I try to get two videos out every single week and last week I just had a complete break so um, yeah, sorry that there were no videos last week but I have been rather busy I've been planning a lot of things um, relating to fish stuff and you may have noticed that things behind me have changed a little bit. Sorry if you can hear builders and like building work, there is building work going on downstairs if you can hear that. Sorry. It's my fidget cube, it's not yours. <laughs> it's mine, sorry. Sorry, it's mine. It's mine. But yeah, in this video I kind of wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on the baby betters, the Dumbo babies, and also I kind of wanted to show you guys the Koi babies, because how I even said, basically I've got Koi babies now. Yay! And I'm so happy. Um, they have been alive for maybe a month now, but I didn't want to say anything because, um... I had major issues with koi's. Um, koi's are a lot harder than it seems, or I had a lot of a harder time than I thought I would with koi's. Um, but yeah, I've got baby koi's now, and I really, really want to show you guys. So um, yeah, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all about my new rack and where everything else is in my bedroom at the moment, um, relating to fish. And I want to show you how big the Dumbo babies are because they are really, really close to being able to be sold. Um, and I want to show you my new koi babies. Okay, let's start with the shelving unit because I'm so, so happy with it. Um, basically, if you guys are new um, and you want to know how I was keeping all of my fish before, you can go back a little bit into my other videos and have a look to see my setup that I had before. All of my fish tanks and breeding stuff was all kind of in this corner here. Um, everything was kind of smooshed in together and it was very cluttered. Um, it made my room look so messy and unorganised and I was just like, um, no, I'm not doing this anymore because everything constantly felt like an unorganised mess in my brain and in my room. Um, so I wanted to come up with another solution to that. Um, also I really wanted to get a shelving unit because I'm wanting to change all of my filters over to sponge filters. At the moment in all of my better tanks other than the breeding tank I have got internal filters on every single tank um, which isn't really the most cost effective way of doing that. I want to run all of my sponge filters off of one pump so there's going to be one air pump and all of the sponge filters are going to be running off that one air pump um, to make things easier for me so I don't have tubing going all over my room I wanted all of my tanks to be in one place I've started looking at sponge filters but I need to wait until I get paid um, before I can install all of them basically this isn't how things are staying I want to expand and I want to get another shelving unit going right here. My room is basically going to be divided in two halves. I'm going to have my bedroom side on this side and my fish room on that side. I still want to film my videos here though. In the background of all of my videos you are going to be able to see all of my fish and what is going on behind me. Um, so yeah. I quickly just wanted to say, because I forgot to say this while I was filming the video, the person who helped me with the racks and deciding what I wanted and just really really helped me out with like the sponge filter thing was Frankie from Frankie's Aquatics. He is a pretty amazing guy and um, yeah, he's really, really helped me throughout this whole process. So if you do not all yet, all yet, if you do not already follow Frankie, then um, go and follow Frankie. I'll leave his link in the description. Um, but yeah, you'll really, really like his videos. Um, but yeah, he's really, really helped me out with the rack and deciding what I wanted to do. So I quickly just wanted to mention him because he deserves a 
mention. So yeah, that's basically what is going on up here in terms of things moving around and the shelving unit and the background. Um, yeah, this is not the finished product. Um, I will be expanding again, but that may not be for about another month. Okay, so I'm going to try and film this without getting the rest of the mess in my bedroom on shot in the camera. Um, so this, uh, no, I failed. <laughs> This is what my shelving unit looks like from the back, um, so when the other one goes here, I'm going to be able to walk around, walk around like this, and be in my fish room, which is going to be this side of my bedroom. Um, so let me show you what it looks like from over here. Um, so I've got jars on the top here, jars here, my trio tank is here. And then my breeding tank is down at the bottom here. I still need to sort all the wires out. Um, like I said, I literally just finished painting it yesterday. Turns out that metal, very, very hard to paint. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with what it looks like now. I'm really, really sorry for the noise that this dog is making. I'm really, really sorry if that is annoying anyone. Um, but she's settled and if I take that away from her, she's going to be jumping all over the place. Um, so yeah, you're a bit annoying. I got foundation on her earlier. I put foundation on the back of my hand, did my makeup, and then um, I wiped my hand on her by accident and she has a big patch of foundation on her. Sorry about that, Else. I'm sorry about that, Elsa. Okay, so the baby betters, I literally feel my face like light up when I talk about them. Um, so the Dumbo babies, Half of them, I would say, are about ready to be sold. The other half are still in the grow-out tank. And it's so strange to me how all of them grow differently. Like, I've got some that are literally ready to be sold and they have got all of their forever colours, I think. So yeah, some of them are literally ready to be sold. They've got their adult colours and they're looking beautiful. And then some of them are still absolutely tiny and nowhere near ready to be sold at all. Instead of waiting for them all to be ready to be sold all at once, um, I'm going to be staggering it. So not all of the betters that I put up for sale are going to be all of the ones that I have. I'm going to be putting them up for sale as and when they become ready. I am going to show you what they look like and their stages and coloration and stuff because the ones in the jars have changed so much. I know I say that every single time I do one of these videos, but they really, really have. So, um, yeah, I want to show you guys what they look like now. So this is the breeding tank. As you can see, we have got the Dumbos on this side. And can you guys see... Mm -mm -mm. And can you guys see the koi? There's a little koi there. Um, but yeah, let me show you the Dumbos first and then I'll show you the jarred ones. So these are the ones that are still in the grow out tank. I've not done water changes yet today because I wanted to film first. Um, so if the tanks look a little bit gross, it's because they are. I'm not going to lie. They look a little bit gross. Look at this one. I think this one needs to be taken out. I think that's a male. Yeah, that looks like a male. It's really, really hard to tell in here now because they're all about the same size. Oh, that was nasty. About the same size? Oh, that was nasty. Yeah, you need to you need to come out. Um, but yeah, um, that one looks like a male as well. I think that some of the smaller ones are males as well. Um, but it's kind of hard to tell now because I think. But yeah, I think the majority in here now are females. That one is so feisty. <laughs> He's really pretty as well. Um, but yeah, I think there's a few more males that need to be jarred. There's a few females that I've taken out. A few females that were literally just surfing the glass. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to take them out because they are clearly really, really stressed in this kind of setup. So I put them in their own jars. Um, this one is being so nasty to everyone. Okay, I'm going to take him out later because you're a bully, mister. So yeah, let me show you some of the jarred babies because they are the ones that are literally, like, amazing to me. And they blow my mind. Mind. So most of them are carded, there's a few up at the top that are not because these are the ones that have been jarred the latest, the soonest, the... These ones aren't as aggressive as these ones are basically. Look how beautiful they are, I don't know if you can see with the glare, but like they've just changed so much. This one, number four, is pretty much all blue apart from like his white butterfly tips on his tail. 
He's so beautiful. This one's really pretty as well, actually, up here. Oh my god, they've just changed so much. This one. They're all kind of changing colour and it's just, oh my god, I love it so much. I do want to give you guys like a better in-depth look at them all, um, kind of like my last video. But um, my camera is now flashing and I need to hurry up with filming. Um, but yeah, I just, oh, I can't stop looking at them. Like, they're just beautiful. As you can see, they have changed so much like um this week i'm going to be taking some of their pro pictures that are ready so they are ready to be sold um the way that i am going to sell them this time is going to be a little bit different to last time um basically this time what is she doing don't do that please come up here up up elsa come on up good girl She's been a little bit disobedient at the moment, not gonna lie. So yeah, the way that I'm gonna be selling them this time is going to be a little bit different to last time. Um, I was thinking of having a website and having everything up on a website, but then I thought, if I have everything on a website, then the only people that are gonna be buying them... Hello, YouTube. Do you mind? The only people that are going to be buying them are people that know about my YouTube. Whereas if I put them on an eBay account, Anyone that is looking for better fish will be able to find them. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Having said that, I really do want the people that watch my videos to have first dibs. Um, so if anyone is interested in buying a Dumbo better fish from me, um, I will leave my email address down in the description. Um, also my Instagram, um, where else can you contact me? I think that's about it. Um, message me, I will send you a whole load of pictures of them as soon as they are ready. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in buying a better fish, message me and I shall get back to you as soon as possible. Unfortunately, I will only be able to sell betters in the UK, so if you are from elsewhere, I will not be able to ship to you. It's so frustrating, but I'm just not comfortable with doing it. Um, basically, it's a lot of money to send anywhere else, like a lot of money, especially to America. Um, either me or you will have to pay £20 customs. And then um, I'll have to get a trans shipper, which is expensive as well. And it's just, it's so much money. Like, you would not believe how expensive it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really sorry to anyone that is wanting a better fish from me that is not in the UK. But, yeah, I am working on it. I'm talking to a lot of different shipping companies at the moment, trying to find one that is willing to send fish overseas. Um, and that isn't going to be extravagant in price. It, it's confusing. Yeah very confusing isn't it it's so confusing and i don't understand it while your head tilts i'm guessing you don't understand it either are you trying to work out what i'm saying to you you're so cute you guys can't see how cute she's being right now look at her right can you see okay elsa you know my fish yeah you know all of my fish i want to send them to people okay because I want to share my love of fish with everyone else. She's like, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. Um, camera angle has changed slightly. Sorry about that. Might be a bit better. Might be a bit worse. What is that? You can see. I think it's a reflection on the camera. Um, what was I going to say? Um, the koi babies. Let me show you the koi babies because they are all so cute. They're quite small, um, very, very small compared to... Ow, that's my finger. Very, very small compared to the Dumbos. Um, but let me show you them as well because they are literally gorgeous. If you guys could all just really ignore the mess. I'm going to film it the other way so you guys can't see the mess. <laughs> and there's still mess. Okay. Um, but these are the kois. It's focusing on the crap behind... And the glass is messy, and there's mess behind the tanks, and ah, um, but yeah, there are koi babies now, and I'm just oh my god, I'm so happy to finally have koi babies. I really should have wiped this glass over before. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about the mess in my bedroom right now, but as I said, I am not done with sorting everything out yet, so everything is kind of all over the place and a bit of a mess in here. Um, I really should have wiped this glass over before I started filming, um, but 
I didn't, did I? Because why Why would I? Why would I think of doing that? Oh my god, I love them so much. There's about 20, I think. There's not a whole load of them. Um, if anyone is really, really interested in having a koi baby from me, I do have like a waiting list set up for people that want um, first dibs on them. Um, so yeah, if you're really, really interested in having one, then either message me on Instagram or email me and as soon as they are ready I will send you a whole load of pictures over and you can pick your favourite um, before they go on sale to the rest of the world um, so yeah you'll basically have first pickings um, kind of similar to the Dumbos I'm basically doing the same thing with both of them um, but as there is so few of these if you want one or you want to be one of the first people to know about them um, and what they look like then do let me know and I will be sure to message you as soon as they are ready um, excuse me can you stop touching the camera it's actually so annoying filming with a dog in the room it's really annoying don't jump off the bed I only trust you up here because there's so much for you to eat on the floor Mm. And by eat, I don't mean edible mm. stuff, I mean stuff that you're not meant to eat. Yeah, I mean stuff yes. that you're not meant to eat, like my laptop charger that you ate yesterday. <gasps> she just threw my phone on the floor. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Mm. Ah. Ah. Mm. Ah. Did you die? Go bang! Good girl! Good girl! She died. She just died. You didn't see, but she just died. Thank you so much for film um, filming. You didn't film. I filmed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Um, sorry videos have been a little bit um, sparse this last week. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you found it interesting and enjoyed it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I'm a bit distracted right now and I don't really know what I'm saying. You've got this. Have your buffalo horn. Chew that. It's my fidget cube. If you are new around here, do make sure that you subscribe, um, also like this video and message me on Instagram anytime because I love having a chat with you guys. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Are you going to say bye or not? You just want my cube. But it's mine. But it's mine. Oh, she's like, I'll lie down. I'll lie down if you let me have it. Elsa. Else. Is that how you ask for things? That's how you ask for things. But I'm afraid it's mine and you have to have your buffalo horn. You know this is mine. It's not a dog toy. <laughs> it's not a dog toy. It's mine. It's mine. Why do you think everything is yours? She literally does this with everything. If you've got something in your hand, she immediately wants it, whether it's a stick or anything. Look, I'll do it with this. Right, I'll do it with this, literally. She's like, mine, thanks. Yeah, I've, got, I've got another one here, she'll do the same thing. She, she just wants whatever I have. Um, excuse me, I actually need that. I don't know why I use that as a demonstration. Let me show you with this lid, like literally, Anything that you're like, that's in your hand, she immediately wants it. Yeah, she, she literally does it with anything. <laughs> Not everything is yours. Not everything is yours. I'm sorry, but it's not yours. It's not yours.